Today is March 27, 2017, and the valve cover replacement came. This is the cover and it should come with a gasket. Yeah, it looks like it came, came with the gasket here, here, and this entire piece. The PCV system has failed and it's leaking oil inside the intake hose and also the one that goes into the manifold right there. This area is full of oil and I think the gasket is dead too because it's leaking oil all, all the way around. Spent about 350 bucks to buy a new one and it's in the box down there and I'm just gonna record the process of me removing, removing it and putting the new one in. First I'll disconnect the negative terminal of the battery. That's just a 10 millimeter socket. That aside. Next, I'll remove the electrical connections. There's one right here. There's another one right here. The eight millimeter. Next, I'll take off these PCV hoses. They're supposed to be 13 10 millimeter bolts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. And this might be one as well. Let's see. Count it 12 right now, but I'm sure we'll find the last one eventually. Probably have to remove this sensor as well. I couldn't find my 10 millimeter deep socket, so I'm just gonna use this. I took off the eight millimeter nut, put this over, and that should give us enough space to loosen it. Just another clip right here. It's still pretty hot, so I had to grab some gloves. Take a closer look at this.
Now I'm just going to wipe this clean. This is the new valve cover. We're going to make sure that all the gaskets are in place. So there's the two over here, and then the one all the way around. So everything seems to be in place. There's a red plug that we pull out over here. Attach this new, it's like a third vent. Right in. Okay, just for comparison, this is the old valve cover and it's leaking all over. I'm gonna put this one back on. In these two corners, I'm gonna add a little bit of this liquid gasket stuff. We have to reuse this sensor, so this is an 8mm bolt. Now we have to tighten these in a crisscross pattern. Either do it snug or to nine foot pounds. Now that it's all tight, we're going to put the plugs back in. Or we'll start with the hoses. And then you're supposed to start the car to check for leaks, but you're also supposed to wait 12 hours, 12 to 24 hours for that gasket to seal. So right now I'm just gonna leave it and let it cure for a while and I'll check back tomorrow. And lastly, don't forget to reconnect the battery.